Right here at the baseball field right now, and this is a typical day of practice for the baseball team. Uh, we practice from 2 o'clock in the afternoon to about 5.30 every day, and we start this in February, and we'll go through to about the middle of May. Uh, takes a lot of dedication. Uh, the boys, for the most part, take care of the field themselves. We uh, water it and rake it and uh, weed it and edge it, uh, take care of it. It's a day-in, day-out kind of thing. We call it grinding, and it's, uh, you better have a desire to play baseball or else this can be kind of rough. Go after this one. Come on. Go after See where that hole is right there? That's number 20, right there. Drive. That's it. That was a nice swing. Two, three. That back row shoot. Santa Barbara JV Dawn! Intermediate hurdles. All intermediate hurdlers should... I'd like to go to the Olympics really? in like 92. How does it feel when you're out there running? Um, you get tired. I mean, when you're out there, you're just going, what am I doing out here? But when you're done and you do well, it feels good. Jay, what will be the first thing you do when you take office on June 1st, 1987? Um, probably have a party. I'm planning on having a really big toga. Wow, wow. We have the Twinkie defense here. Matt Leon explains eight straight Fs this year on an addiction to Twinkies. What do you have to say about that, Matt? Good. Well, I'll remember 1987 for a long time. It was a very unusual group. 
we had some pretty flaky students, but we had uh, some pretty good times. And we got through the entire year without losing a building. And there were times when I wasn't sure that was going to happen. One of my best students. Six, six, six. That's right. Gold far. Right. Mark Martin. 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 Look him up. What's he doing now? <laughs> what is your favorite teacher, Fauna? Mr. Wood. Mr. Wood. Oh, he's the one who looks a little bit like Clark Kent, right? Uh -huh. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Fauna. Who is next? And I know I enjoyed the kids and. It's going to be nice to look at this tape in years to come and see all the kids again. Well, this morning we have the pleasure of speaking with Mr. Helms, who is a, an outstanding teacher in the math department. Mr. Helms, how's the school year going? Well, it's going pretty well. It's almost over at the moment, but there's a lot to be done left still. We're always a little bit behind, aren't we? Always at the very end we get behind. The end is behind, right. Okay, thank you, Mr. Helms. Um, I think that the problem with drugs is more or less over-publicized. I don't think there's that much problem with drugs at this school. I think um, anyone that uses drugs is pretty much lame. I, don't, I think it's wrong to use drugs. Having to take chemistry and math and science and all that, which I don't care about and which won't help me in my future, which I know that for a fact, um, it's screwing up my GPA and it's not, it's wasting my time. Probably get attendance out of grades because it has nothing to do with it. I think there's a real big drug problem at our high school, at all high schools, and I think that it's a problem that needs to be controlled. So what the administration has done is, is allowed teachers to make their own individual attendance policies, which are sometimes unfair to the students. And um, I'd like to see that changed. I'd like to see a more um, unified structure of the attendance policy so it'd be better for the students. Mom, if you're in there, I never took anything stronger than Excedrin. I promise. <laughs> Maybe Tylenol, but that's it. Nothing. All right.